Hi, I'm Angie and this is already part four of my uh, Make Your Bonbon From Scratch um, series. Um, but really today is all about filling. If you want to watch the other three parts, I have a link down in the description. Um, yeah, and as I mentioned, today is all about filling. So I thought we would make a pina colada kind of filling. So we are going to make a pineapple caramel and then a coconut uh, ganache. I don't feel like adding any rum today, but I will let you know at which step you're adding the rum if you want to make um, a boozy chocolate. So our plan for today is making those two layers and um, yeah, let's go. Uh, this is where we ended last time and um, full disclosure here, I needed this mold. So what I did is like um, I got all of uh, my, my shells out um, and destroyed one in the process. So um, just so you know, <laughs> this one is completely broken, so don't do that. Um, all right, but now we are moving on with our two fillings. So first here, I have about 280 grams of um, frozen pineapples and I will um, make a puree out of this. So I'm going to defreeze it in the microwave for maybe two, three minutes or so. And then I'm just going to blend it and that's our pineapple puree. So that's what we're going to start out now. This is my pineapple puree. Um, it is a little bit chunky, but that's how I want it. So um, yeah, if you want it smoother, just blend it for longer. And now I'm adding 155 grams of sugar and about 90 grams of glucose syrup into a pot. So you can replace uh, the glucose syrup with sugar, uh, but the glucose syrup will add um, more smoothness to your texture. Um, so I would recommend using it, but if you don't have it or don't want to use it and buy extra stuff, just replace it with sugar. And then we need, let's see, 150 grams of our pineapple puree. Yeah, that's all of it. Oh, well, not, not all of it. Okay, wait. Let's put some back. So that I will use in a smoothie or something. Okay, that was too much. I thought um, we are going to need the whole thing. Okay, here we go. And then we're going to add 45 grams of coconut oil. And now we're starting to cook this. Okay, here we go. I should have mentioned in the beginning that we want to hit 109 uh, degrees Celsius. Um, so yeah, that's the temperature we want to reach. Now we're going to add 45 grams of cocoa butter. You can also use white chocolate, but then make sure to use less of sugar um, right in the beginning because otherwise it's just going to be way too sweet. And we're using cocoa butter here because it'll set way more and way firmer than without. And once the cocoa butter has completely melted, I'm using my immersion blender just to make sure that everything is really nicely incorporated and then we can cool it down. And maybe one thing to mention, um, so I put my um, pineapple caramel into a jar because I know I will not need all of it. So maybe I'll need Maybe a third? No, probably not even a third. Um, but I will definitely use it for other stuff, um, like think about ice cream and that sort of thing. So um, that's why I put it directly into a jar. But yeah, this needs to cool down now until like 30 degrees Celsius or so. And now we can move ahead to make our ganache. Okay, I have 110 grams of dark chocolate here and I chop it fine and add it into my bowl. Um, you can certainly use white chocolate or milk chocolate here as well. I think especially with the whole uh, pineapple coconutty theme that is going on, um, white chocolate will work really well too. But you know, if you add white chocolate, I'll just make sure it's not getting too sweet. Or at least I'm just not a person that likes crazy sweet stuff, so yeah. And I'm only using half of the recipe for the ganache uh, because I have nine bonbons. Uh, I don't have a whole thing. So that's why I'm cutting everything in half. Now I'm adding about 55 grams of my coconut cream. A little bit more. 
Now we're heating this up until everything is like uh, nicely mixed. Now here's what you do if you want to have boozy bonbons. So you add only half of the cream and replace the half with rum. And make sure that your that your mix here is not boiling, otherwise your alcohol will just fly away. Um, so just heat it up until everything is really nicely mixed, until the sugar has completely dissolved, and then you move forward. So here we go, it's simmering, so that is warm enough. And now here we need our chocolate. And no matter if you added um, the liquor or not, we will add in about two, three steps. And it will look like it's broken, but that's totally normal. Just keep stirring and melt your chocolate. This is looking pretty good, so now I'm adding the rest. And in a second we will use again our immersion blender, just to make sure that everything is really nicely smooth and melted. But this is looking good. But you see that I still have some um, chocolate lumps in there. So that's something I will just um, blend in with my immersion blender. But yeah, this is how it should look like, like shiny and glossy. Okay, now it's time to pipe. So today I'm going to use um, single-use uh, piping bags. I don't really like them because they're single-use, but that's all I have at home right now. So I'm going to use these. And I also want to show you how I'm adding the filling. I mean, it's probably not that complicated, but yeah, I, I just want to show you how I do it. So I usually have a spoon, um, especially for smaller amounts. And what you could do, what I uh, won't do now, but you could use one of these like it's from an immersion blender, like the uh, the vessel that comes with it. And you can just wrap your piping bag around it. And now you can easily fill uh, your piping bag. Uh, let's start, yeah, let's start with, with our pineapple. Me, you could also just, that's probably easy, should, should just pour it in. I don't need much. But make sure that your filling has uh, below 30 degrees Celsius, otherwise you might kick your shells out of temper and we don't want that. So make sure this is cool enough. And now you can easily take this out. Oops. And you see this is super, super runny. And that's why we need to use this as our first layer because later we will add the ganache on top which will set way way more um, and we can kind of better seal our chocolate layer in the end and what I like to do so underneath here is my countertop just normal stone countertop and if your filling is still a little bit warm you can just place it on your countertop just and just roll it around a little bit but make sure that uh, nothing goes out here uh, and you create a mess, uh, but it cools down super, super quickly if you just place it, place it on your countertop and massage it a little bit, so it cools down super fast. And now I'm just cutting off a little bit of, um, of the edge. Not too much, because this is a very, very um, thin filling. I have no idea what to do with this one now, the one I destroyed. Should we do it? Should we not? This is going to be a mess if I do it, but of course I do it. Just a little bit. Okay, and now we're doing the exact same thing with our ganache. And it just goes on top. And I like to shake it, just to make sure that everything smoothens out and evens out a little bit. And in case you have any um, air bubbles in there, they will also be released. Great, and now um, I let this rest until everything has solidified. Um, I would say maybe one, two hours. Like ideally it would be overnight, to be completely honest. So let, let it crystallize overnight. Um, I don't have the time. Okay, here we go. Our uh, filling is pretty much set. 
um, you see nothing is floating around here anymore um, and I have some parchment paper here and now we're coming to tempering chocolate again so I'm doing it exactly as the last times um, so I have my cocoa seeds here uh, a link down below how I make it um, and I'm using 200 grams of chocolate and 2 grams of uh, the cocoa seeds so it's 1% just like um, yeah, in the other video I made uh, when we created the shelves so I'm just going to um, quickly grate this so it's melting immediately into our chocolate and you can actually also buy um, cocoa seeds from um, I don't know exactly where I I'm saying it down here somewhere where you can buy it if you don't want to make it from scratch okay let's check our chocolate so we need 35 degrees Celsius with any kind of chocolate doesn't matter if white dark milk I think we're too low we're too low okay I have to heat this up again um, and I like to heat it up um, for 10 seconds in a microwave maybe seven I'm going to count okay six seconds in a microwave let's see well that's how it is with tempering chocolate it's either too hot or too cold that's the point where you need some patience if you don't have a machine or don't want to use a machine I'm just going to wait maybe two three more minutes because this is not a lot of chocolate and this will super easy cool down to 35 degrees Celsius okay this is a looking pretty good 35.4 all right now I'm adding all of my grated cocoa seeds stir them in and now I have to go to the other side and grab my spatula oh, and I'm falling over the camera how about that okay um, wait I always have to figure out from which direction. So now I'm just pouring it over. Scrape it off. And that's it. And I let this set in the fridge for about um, 30 minutes. But you can also just let it set at room temperature if it's not crazy hot with crazy hot I mean above 25 degrees Celsius okay here we go oops ah yeah you just flip them over um, if some of them are stuck it could be that they just need a little bit longer in the fridge sometimes it really helps to um, put your whole mold into the freezer for five minutes or so and they easily come out um, but yeah here we are uh, Okay, that's the one I screwed up, but still looking cool, I think. Let's cut one open and give them a try. Uh oh. This is what it looks from inside. It looks pretty good. Okay. Let me try it. They are so good. I, I, I really love it. Um, next time, you know what I would do? I would add a little bit of lemon uh, to the pineapple uh, caramel. Just to make it a little bit more um, zingy. Because it is quite sweet. But I think the sweetness is right. I think it just needs a little bit more tanginess, sourness. That's what I would do. I would just add maybe a teaspoon um, or so of lemon juice. Maybe lime juice, maybe lime juice. Um, that goes really, really well with the coconut. I would give them a try, no question asked. Like the filling is great. And I'm also sure if you're using a white chocolate, this will taste really good too. As always, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you like all parts of the series, especially this one, because that's the yummy one with the fillings. Um, yeah, if you have questions, leave them down below um, or send me a DM on Instagram at chocolate spiel. Um, if you're looking for equipment, I have a whole list down below and uh, yeah, that's it. Have a good one. See you next time.